In London's County Hall, 200 trade union leaders meet. They represent 45 million workers from more than 40 nations. Among the British delegation is Arthur Deakin, Transport and General Workers Union, Lincoln Evans, Sir Will Lawther, and Tom O'Brien. The two rival American movements, the CIO and the AFL, come together at one meeting for the first time. There too are representatives from newly created trade unions in India, Pakistan and the West Indies. Present also are delegates from ex-enemy countries, six from Japan, ten from Germany. Purpose of their meeting, as stated by the French chairman, Monsieur Finet, is to set up a new free trade union international, the democratic answer to the present communist-dominated World Federation. Appealing to the delegates not to become involved in political controversy or national politics, Mr. Bullock, chairman of the TUC, I says... I and pride in extending a welcome to the representatives of our organised movement in so many countries where the institutions of free citizenship, freedom of association, democratic rule, the right of free speech and the independence of trade unions are acknowledged and enforced by law and custom and long tradition. Denial or restriction of the elementary rights of free labour is an affront to human dignity, a threat to peace and a source of totalitarian tyranny which we shall always and everywhere resist and strive to counteract. It is to that task, in the maturity of our organized movement, that we have to dedicate ourselves afresh today.